everybody how many of you watched sultan i just watched it and i loved it oh my god i can't tell you how amazing the movie is if you are any kind of a fitness freak or a bodybuilder or salman fan or if you want to watch a good movie then definitely head on over to the theaters and watch that movie another thing i really loved about that movie is anushka sharma's makeup i just loved it i thought it was just so beautifully made and uh, yeah she just looks so gorgeous and her makeup is very flawless and at the same time very natural real looking so i got super inspired by her makeup and decided i would do another makeup tutorial for you guys today so in this video i have tried to recreate my version of anushka sharma's baby ko base pasand hai makeup i just love that makeup because her eyes look super super neutral and also there is a tiny flush of color on her cheeks and her lips are this kind of a cold uh what do you call a sort of a bluey fuchsia pink and i just loved the whole look i mean you guys know i'm all about a natural and neutral makeup look and very minimal makeup so when i saw that look on her i just knew that i had to do this video so here it is to begin with i'm going to apply this revlon photo ready perfecting primer all over my face i just love this primer simply because it makes my pores disappear it makes my skin feel super smooth and especially when i put in a little bit of an effort into my makeup i want it to last all day long so this is what i'm going to start with next i'm going to take this faces hydro balance foundation smear a teeny bit on the back of my hand and apply it all over my face this foundation as you can see is a very 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 light coverage foundation and it has a very dewy kind of a finish so i'm just going to apply this all over my face and work it with my brush and by work it i mean really work it and buff it for about 10 to 15 minutes until you feel like you couldn't buff it anymore you want to do this because this gives a very airbrushed and flawless look to your face just like how anushka sharma has it going in the song Next, to conceal my dark circles, I'm using this Mac Studio Finish concealer in the shade NW40. I just love the coverage of this concealer. It's also super creamy and smooth and hides any blemishes away. To set my foundation and concealer, I'm using the Maybelline Dream Satin two-way cake powder in the shade 03. I'm just going to apply it wherever I might get a little bit oily. Oh my god, look at my crazy eyebrows. This always happens you guys. Whenever I'm done with my powder, my eyebrows go crazy. So using this pretty tart palette, the first thing I'm going to do is fix my eyebrow. I'm just going to take those two dark brown and the top shade and with a slight flicking motion, I'm just going to draw them on my eyebrows to give it a kind of a natural yet a very full look to your eyebrow. I'm going to take this Maybelline Dream Touch blush in the shade 07 and apply it all over my eyelids. I know I'm aware that it is a blush, it is a cream blush, but who says you have to use blush only on your cheeks, you know? We can all be a little bit of a rebel and experiment with our makeup. on this tiny hint of pink i'm going to use this really pretty pink tart color and apply it all over my cream blush just to accentuate a bit more of the pinkness next i'm going to take a bit of this peachy and then the purpley color and apply it just over my crease and on the outer corner the purpose of this is just to give a slight definition for your crease and outer corner and not to create any kind of smokiness because anushka sharma's eye shadow looked very 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 natural there was nothing smoky or intense going on there so i'm just going to keep this super light i'm also going to go back into the pretty pale pink shade and apply it on my lower lashes and then i'm going to go back into the peachy shade and apply it on the outer corners then 
I'm going to go back into the palette, pick up the lightest shimmery shade and apply it right under my brow bone to highlight. Then also I'm just going to apply a tad bit on the inner corner to bring my eyes out. Next I'm going to take this Maybelline the Colossal Liner and draw on a pretty sort of a medium size eyeliner. I'm not going to flick it or make it a wing liner or anything fancy like that. It's just going to be a very basic liner and thanks to the magic of editing I can show my eyeliner work in about 30 seconds but honestly guys in reality this is going to take me 15 minutes every single day. The eyeliner problem is just too real. Eyelashes. I'm using this Claire's K -K Claire's <laughs> eyelash color and curl my eyelashes because I want them to look like they're defying gravity. Next, to create a bit more of the smokiness, I'm using the L'Oreal Kajal Mystique Coal Pencil and tight line my lashes. Yes, my lashes are very tickly, and yes, it makes me blink quite a lot and also makes my eyes look very very weird when I am applying this and also because Anushka Sharma has got some intense coal action going on I also applied a pretty thick coal liner on my tear line as well and then I'm going to use this Maybelline the Colossal Volume Express mascara and just apply a couple of coats of this mascara all over my lashes both the upper ones and the lower ones and luckily they haven't put any kind of fake lashes on Anushka Sharma because I just cannot compete with fake lashes and this just was so perfect and easy for me I mean this look you guys can do it every single day considering how simple and natural it is and also because this look is very natural I am using the Rimmel natural bronzer and just carve out my cheekbones a teeny tiny bit I mean there's nothing too intense going on also this bronzer has a bit of a shimmer which again I feel like it makes you look a bit more glowy use this May Maybelline Cheeky Glow Blah Blah <laughs> Next I'm going to use this Maybelline Cheeky Glow Blush in the shade Fresh Coral Apply it a little bit on my cheeks and work it towards my temple Also another weird thing that I'm going to do is take a tiny bit of the blush Apply it on my forehead, on the tip of my nose and on my chin as well Because it just makes it look super super natural and pretty like Anushka Sharma Then I'm going to take this Faces lip pencil in the shade Germany this is such a pretty neutrally nude lip pencil it's also very creamy so without too much of an effort I'm just going to draw it all over my lips I'm also going to fill it in because I want to get the lip color pretty much more or less exactly what it is to Anushka Sharma's then I'm going to take this Rimmel Kate Moss lipstick in the shade 20 and apply this 20 60 or 06 I don't know I'm a little bit confused I'm going to leave the shade number below in the description box I'm just going to apply this over lip liner and that's it look at that so easy I mean this look I'm just in love with because it's just right up my alley it's pretty easy to pull it off with whatever outfit you're wearing and you can wear it every single day so there you go guys, that completes this video. I hope you liked my recreation of her look. And if you guys like this video, do not forget to hit the thumbs up button. That would totally make my day. And go watch Sultan. You just must because that movie deserves to be watched. And also write in the comment below and let me know what you think of this look. And also if you're new here, please subscribe. It would be lovely to have you guys as a part of this sisterhood. And I'll see you in my Thursday's video. Bye! I love you!